Hello, welcome to DIY it is. Today I'm going to show you another scarf, a nice winter scarf. Um, yeah, I've used this kind of wool. Uh, it's 97% wool and 3% polyacryl. It's kind of a turquoise bluish color. Uh, 50 gram balls and it's about 60 meters length. Uh, it's a very cozy scarf, very comfortable. And uh, yeah, I use number 9 needle. So they're quite, the sticks are quite close to one another. That way it's, it's not, uh, not too cold for the winter. It creates some more warmth. And yeah, I'll show you um, yeah, what to do. And uh, yeah, from finishing the top, I'll show you how to make this scarf. Uh, I've got a needle with a big hole. I've got a ruler. And I've got a... Um, yeah, a needle to know where I am, and scissors. I used four of these balls of wool, and let's start. So I'll we'll start with the chain stitch, and um, yeah, we can measure the length with the ruler in the end, so you can see what length you'd like to have it. Um, I want to have it about 130 centimeters. Um, yeah, it's up to you how long you'd like to have your scarf. And, uh, yeah, well, I've got loads more videos for you if you'd like to know how to chain stitch work, how certain stitches work, so I'd say have a look there. But, um, yeah, it's re recommended to use 8 to 10 needle. I've got a 12, sorry, not a 9, I've got a 12. And um, it works as well. It works perfectly as well. Alright, so we'll start with chain stitches. Right, that's the chain stitch done, or the chain's done. It's about, I've got the uh, ruler here, so I can see how long it is. So I'm there at 50. Hundred centimeters, so that's a meter. It's about, uh, about 123 centimeters length. And yeah, we're going to continue. If you prefer this length, if you want it longer or shorter, you can do that now. Um, I'll stick with this length. So I'll make sure that the entire, entire, um, Sorry, the entire chain is always straight. That is not twisted. So everything's going to be straight and not twisted. Otherwise, your scarf is going to be twisted. So now I'm going to connect the beginning to the end. So we're going to create the loop scarf. Make sure it's all straight and not twisted. And then we're going to connect the last stitch to the first stitch. And do a fixed pitch. Right, we've got one big loop. I'm going to do fixed pitch stitches. One chain stitch up, and I'm gonna go into the first stitch, so pull through, create a loop. You've got then two loops on your needle, create a, another loop, and pull through both. Again, pull through the second stitch, create, grab the string, create a loop. So you've got two loops, create another loop, and pull through two.
pull through, get two loops, pull through. And it's a nice, um, nice close to each other stitch. And we're going to do this all the way around. Right, let me show you what to do next. So the first round is completely done. We just have to connect the last stitch to the first again and then continue a new row. So finish off is the last stitch and the first stitch. You see the actual chain stitch there and the first stitch you see there. You go through that first, you go through the first stitch and do a fixed pitch, pull through both. And again, I've got the string, so pull through the first, the first stitch you've done, pull the string through and pull through the string through. Right, that's the first round done. We're going to continue our second round, so I'll do a chain stitch and again go through the first stitch, create a loop, and we're going to do the exact same stitches. So, the finishing of the second round, I'm going to do the way that um, before the, the first stitch, I'm going to over the second stitch, over the first stitch, and then I'll do a chain stitch there. But I'll show you that when it comes to it. So when to see if the round is finished, you can see that on the first stitch that you've done. If you've got problems to know where your first stitch was, you can put like a a little piece of a different color string uh, there so you know where your first stitch was you don't get confused right that's all the rows done it's about 16 rows I've got the first uh, I'm at the end of the last row sorry I've got the the mark to know where I am so you can use a string or you can use a pin so I know this is where I started so I need to finish it off, so I'm going to take this out, so I, know, I now know where the first stitch is. And then we'll do a fixed pitch at the end. And pull through. I'm going to do a chain stitch. And again grab the mark. So I know when, the, when this round is going to finish basically. So for the last round, I'm going to do a little bit of different crochet style. So to stabilize, stabilize the whole scarf, to get a little bit more um, strength into it, basically the shape. So we're going to go over the top stitch. We're going to, sorry, <laughs> we're going to stitch on the last stitch. We're going to do fixed stitches, basically. So pull through, get the string and pull through the loop. And continue that all the way around. That's how it looks. I'm going to continue this all the way around. Right, I'm at the end of the last row, and I need to connect it with the first stitch. Okay, I can cut it off. About 5, 15, 20 centimeters. Leave that open and then pull the string through. And that one you can take out as well. I'll show you how to finish off the actual end bit. 
So we're going to grab the needle. Kind of a special needle, like a thick needle with a bigger hole. Pull this in for that. So there's the first stitch, pull through there. And then pull in a bit. And we're going to work backwards. So pull through there. And that way you you can't really see the leftover string. So I'm going to continue that. Maybe just twist this card might make it easier. So this is the inside out. I'm going to go behind it, pull through. A little bit more. And then the other direction. Make sure everything is stuck properly, basically. the other direction a little bit and then the last you, the rest you can cut off right that way you don't see where the leftover string is it's a nice finishing and you can do that same thing on the other like the beginning and that's how it looks so that's the end and then uh, yeah it looks really nice Really nice warm scarf for the winter. Good prepare. And I use fixed pitch all the way and then uh, yeah, chain stitch in the beginning and basically chain stitch finishing off. Yeah, if you like the video please subscribe down below for our channel or to our channel for free and always be the first one to be informed about new videos. We've got loads more videos for you uh, about knitting, about crochet, about DIY, creativity, you name it. So I say have a look. Um, if you'd like to give us a comment down below, you're more than welcome to. And we'll see you next time.